Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist, and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. All right, you guys. So I really wanted to make a video. This video, I have been like, you know, those videos. If you're a creator, you know, you always have like this content that you just like have in the back of your head, and you just know that you want to put it out, but you just never get around to it. But I really wanted to get this out the way before the end of the year because it's something like I said has been on the back of my mind for a while so before the year heroes out let's just get into it and yeah I'm sure as you guys can tell from the title it's about my favorite cleansing balms for the year some of them I've actually used so I just really wanted to share some of my favorite ones that I've been loving I'm gonna go in order my satisfaction of, of these products show and tell you guys two cleansing balms that I've used that I've loved and a few cleansing oils that I've just been loving so much okay starting with the cleansing balm the first one I have here is the Verse cleansing balm and I love this one it's very moisturizing literally like dissolved into your skin it also has like antioxidants there as well as eucalyptus oil which is really great for the skin it's great for all skin types and it's so super easy you literally just put it onto your skin with all the makeup and stuff and it literally you start to see all of the makeup start to dissolve off of your skin it's oil based so it's perfect for makeup um, of course you want to follow this up with a water-based foaming cleanser to really just get the rest of the makeup out there for all of the water Soluble uh, products that might be in your skin, but this one is definitely one that I really, really love. All right, next is one I actually don't have with me because I ran out of it, and um, it's the Pharmacy Green Clean uh, Cleansing Balm. I loved that one. Literally, I was like, when I got to the last bit of it, I didn't want it to run out. I was like, just taking my time with it because I was so afraid of it like running out. But it eventually ran out, which is why I can't show you guys in this video. It was definitely my top, top two cleansing balms that I've ever had. I literally was obsessed with that product, and I would love to get another bottle i just want to get through all of the products that i currently have before i reorder it again but definitely my top two all right moving on to cleansing oils the first cleansing oil i have here is my favorite cleansing oil in the whole entire world it's a curel intense moisture care makeup cleansing oil this cleansing oil at first when i got it got sent to me i was just like mm, another cleansing oil what is it gonna do but i was astonished like shook <laughs> i was literally like so shook that how great it worked it worked so well you guys know like for black girls i'm sure you guys can relate to wearing a wig and when you know you're washing off that wig you need something that's really going to take off that glue on there and this stuff don't be fooled by the look of it it literally melts off the glue melts it off like it's so amazing i just want it back okay like, can't wait to reorder it i'm like so upset that it just finished and now i have to use my other ones that i'm going to talk about pretty shortly here um but this is so good you guys if you ever get around to getting this product yo tell them i sent you because it's it's so good you guys and i will definitely be getting another one maybe even before i run out of the other ones because the other ones just didn't do it for me this one is bay next one i love is this one by dermalogica it's a pre-cleansing balm this one is not as good as a cure one i'm not gonna lie but it's better than the last one i'm gonna show you guys and i really like this one uh like i said although it doesn't work as well but it definitely does still get a bunch of like my makeup off i can see my makeup like just glide off my face just doesn't get the glue which is pretty important to me but i'm sure to someone else who doesn't wear glue in their hair and stuff it wouldn't matter but this is one that i yeah i definitely recommend it if you don't have access to the cure all one yeah dermalogica one works just as good all right the last and final one i'm gonna recommend is one that i'm not very fond of but it does work still it's the four five six calm clean cleansing oil this one's also pretty good this one was actually formulated for me uh specifically i think they're more of like a prescription type company as you guys can tell i haven't used a lot of it a lot of it is still left in the bottle so it doesn't work as great but it definitely is something you might want to check out i just really love that the company is actually just like really catered towards melanin skin so that's uh really why i really wanted to share this one but yeah yeah, I think that's all the products I have to show you guys today. I just want to say something else before I end this video. I always, always go in with an actual cleanser, water-based cleanser, to really get all the makeup off my face. I don't only clean my face with the oils. I always do a two-step, sometimes three-step cleansing step. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. And yeah, before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Subscribe, it really helps the channel out. Helps get my video out to more people just like you that are looking for skincare product recommendations. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.